Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and this is video number two for the second month of the 11th Simple What Nots Miniature Club. This month is called County Fair. I knew that. It's called County Fair, and it's going to be a table runner. And the first video we did, we did all the cutting of the material, and we also put together the hourglass blocks. This week we are doing the churn dash A blocks, which are these eight blocks right here, and churn dash three blocks, which are right here. Churn dash B. There's three of these blocks. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I put these together. I was thinking they'd need a scant quarter inch and it didn't. They end up being three and a half inches. Um, and they're pretty simple to put together. It takes a little bit of time, but pretty simple. These are actually the same blocks. They look very different, but they're the same blocks. So they go together exactly the same. But you want to keep them separate because of this cream colored corner here. So I'm going to walk you through how to put these blocks together. Um, if you want to watch the rest of these videos when I put them out, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so you know when I put these up. Um, I'm also doing uh, U.S. Quilt Block Journeys where I recreate the quilt blocks from the early 1900s Hearth and Home uh, publication. And I have What's in the Box videos where I open my mail. But let's get started on these blocks. Today we are going to be doing the um, churn dash um, blocks. There's an A and there's a B block and the only difference between the two is there's eight of A and A doesn't have any cream color fabrics in it and B has cream color fabrics in it and there's three of those. So here's B and here's A but they're going to be constructed exactly the same. So I'm going to show you how to put together a couple of these and then we the rest will go together exactly like that. Okay, to do our first churn dash block, we're going to have to do some sewing before we lay it out. So we want to sew our two strips together because we're going to have to cut some one and a half inch blocks out of it. So I'm going to put these together and sew there. And then we need to sew these triangles together and then we can trim these down, get the tails off and trim them down to one and a half inch squares. So I'm going to start that way by sewing these two things together, actually four of these and one of these. And then I'll come back and we'll lay it out and we will start putting the block together. But I also wanted to note that I am going to be ironing towards, I'm just going to be ironed towards one of the colors and then on these I'm going to iron towards the dark color once I get them sewn. Okay, here I've sewn these two strips together and I've ironed it towards the red and I've sewn these four triangles together to make squares and I've ironed it towards the blue in my case. So let's start with the triangles and get these trimmed up to one and a half inches and I set my one and a half inch mark right there in the corner and then I follow my line right up the seam and if you remember from my first video I did cut these squares larger so I could cut them down and cut the tails off I got my pieces ready. Oops, no I don't. Now I need to cut one and a half inch squares from here.
and I'm lining it up here in the middle. Okay, let's lay our little block out. There's my center and these match so these this needs to go out and the red needs to go next to my center in my case. And then the blue goes towards the middle. And that makes our churn dash. So there we go. Now we're going to sew the rows together. And I'm going to take you over my machine and we'll finish it up over there. Okay, I'm over here at my machine and I've got my iron next to me also. So what we want to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start at the top here and on the left, start at the left, and start putting my pieces together, lining up the edges. Dang it. And I'm going to go to the next row, do the same thing. Line up the edges and always clip the side you're going to sew. Bottom row, starting at the left, line up the edges. So now I'm going to sew these three pieces and we'll get those ironed. Quarter inch. So what I'm going to do now is, this is my top row, and I'm going to iron it towards the outside of the block. And then my middle row, I'm going to iron towards the inside of my block. And then with the bottom row, I'm going to iron towards the outside of my block. So then we'll be able to nest seams here. I've got these two ironed towards the outside and then the middle block is ironed towards the inside. So let's set it back up. Now we want to sew our right sides to the part we've already sewn. So match up those edges, clip the side you're going to sew. We are literally just going to iron in the same direction as we did before. So we'll iron it over in that direction. So just iron them in the same direction as the other blocks. Okay. So now our seams are ironed in opposite directions so that when we put it together, we will have nested seams. There we go. So let's start with the top here and match those seams up and you can feel when they nest and when they're butted up against each other it literally feels flat. And I'm going to pin that and then I'm going to go over here and do the exact same thing with this other seam. Line it up, nest it. And then we will get this sewn together with a quarter inch and we will iron this towards the outside of the block. You can see those points. Where are you? There you are. Those points line up beautiful. So we'll take the other one and do the same thing on the bottom. Nest those seams and sew at a quarter of an inch. Iron towards the outside. And there's our teeny tiny little churn dash block. Okay, 
here's my churn dash block and we want to make sure it's three and a half inches and what I'm going to do is line up my seam at one and a quarter and two and a quarter and then this seam will be one and a quarter and two and a quarter and then I'm going to trim around the edges turn it and now that I have squared up these two edges I can use those line it up on my three and a half inch mark and trim and we got a beautiful churn dash block so all of them are going to be exactly the same I will do a I'll do churn dash B it's going to go together exactly the same and just look a little different okay so here's the pieces for churn dash B and you can tell because they have the cream colored corners here we're going to put it together exactly the same where these half try half square triangles are going to get sewn together at a quarter of an inch and then our strips are going to get sewn together here at a quarter of an inch and then we'll come back and trim them up and get our pieces cut okay I've got my uh, strip sewn together and my half square triangles sewn into a square so I'm going to start with my strips I need to cut those into one and a half inch squares so I'm going to line up my one and a half inch on the seam and cut it actually it's I'm lining up the three quarters inch on the seam Okay, those pieces are cut. Now we want to cut these into one and a half inches. And I did cut these bigger in the beginning. So I put my one and a half inch down here and then I follow the diagonal line with my seam. And then I'm going to trim. I'm going to turn. And I'm going to trim. And now we're ready to put it together. Get my easel. Start in the middle. And at this point we need to decide which side we want. So let's do this what we know and that's that the cream color goes on the outer edge. And then, do we want to do this, or do we want to do this? I like that. That's my preference. So there's our block. We're going to do rows, sew our rows together, and then we'll sew those rows to each other. Okay, I'm over at my sewing machine. I'm going to do what I did last time and I'm going to take the two left hand pieces in the top row, left hand piece, center piece, line them up edge to edge, pin the side I'm going to sew, take the center block and the left piece, line them up edge to edge, there, pin the side you're going to sew and same here, left and center, line up on the edge, pin the side you're going to sew. Okay. Make 
make sure we get them in the right spots. And now we're going to sew the right piece onto the piece we just sewed together. Line up edges, pin the side you're going to sew. Okay, the seams are ironed in opposite directions. So, yep. Now we sew our rows together. We'll start with the top row. We'll nest those seams where they meet and sew at a quarter of an inch. And there it is, iron towards the outside of the block, and now we'll put our bottom row on. Nest those seams. So, iron towards the outside of the block. churn dash. So we'll go trim it up. Okay, here's our little churn dash. And we want it to be three and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my seams on one and a quarter and two and a quarter, one and a quarter and two and a quarter, and then trim from there. This one looks pretty close. Flip it 180, and then you can use this corner since we squared that these two sides up to do your measuring. So there's churn dash B. I do have a hot iron, it just doesn't want to lay down. And churn dash A. Exactly the same block, they just look so different. So I'm going to finish up all my blocks since I've shown you now how to do both and then we'll come back and look at them all. Alright, there we go. We finished our churn, churn dash blocks A and B. This is B. This is A. So these also, I put this together with the hourglass blocks in between just to give you an idea of what it's going to start to look like. Um, it's not going to be much longer than this because there's another block B here and then two block B's down here, or block A's down here. So it's going to be just that much longer. And then there's going to be flying geese around the edges, which is next week's video. We're going to do the flying geese next week. So it looks pretty cool, especially looking in the camera there. It looks really, really cool. I love how... The hourglass blocks blend so much it makes it look like this is the block right here. Or this is going to be the block right here. That looks really cool. Looks like it's on point, but it's not. So there you go. That was churn dash A and B. I have never done a churn dash. I like the way they look and I'm glad that I got to do it, which is what's fun about doing these little miniature quilt clubs. Um, you get to do a lot of different little blocks and try them out. So I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much. Um, subscribe to my channel. Go to my website, canaryquilts.com. Sign up to my newsletter and you'll get notified every time I do something like this or I put out a new block or pattern. And uh, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.